Amazon Cloud Search makes it easy to launch search functionality for your website or application in the cloud. With a rich search feature set, including faceting, highlighting, autocomplete suggestions, geospatial search, and much more, supporting 34 major languages so you can go global on day one. With ease of operation through auto-scaling, self-healing clusters, high availability, and data durability. And easy administration through built-in integrations with other AWS services, including IAM and Amazon CloudTrail. More and more, we live in a world of massive data and content. It's important that the search application you build is capable of handling this massive data growth with Cloud Search, you can be up and running in just hours with a full-blown, robust search application. Let's take a quick product tour. To begin, go to the AWS console at console.aws.amazon.com and click on Cloud Search. On the Cloud Search welcome page, create your search domain. A search domain encapsulates your searchable data and the server resources that process document updates and search requests. As the volume of your data and traffic fluctuates, Amazon Cloud Search seamlessly scales your domain server resources to maintain performance while minimizing costs. Click Create Your First Search Domain to launch the Create Domain Wizard. The first step is to give our search domain a unique name. We're going to be using the IMDB sample data, so let's call it IMDB-Movies. Next, we need to specify how we're going to configure the indexing options for our new domain. For this demo, we're going to use the predefined configuration for the IMDB Movies sample data. When you're using your own data, Cloud Search can recommend an index configuration based on a sample of your data stored in your local machine, Amazon DynamoDB, or Amazon S3. Or you can configure the index fields and options manually. The Review Configuration step shows the options that will be configured for each indexed field. If we need to, it's easy to modify the configuration later through the console. So, we'll just accept the proposed configuration. Until you configure access policy rules, you will only be able to upload documents and submit search requests to the domain through the console. We want to be able to submit HTTP requests to our domain's search endpoint to search for movies, so we'll accept the recommended policy listed at the top. The summary shows the name of the domain we are about to create and the indexing options and access policy options that will be configured. It generally takes about 10 minutes to fully initialize a new search domain. While resources are being provisioned for our new domain, the domain status is loading. Once the domain is in the processing or active state, we can start uploading the documents we want to search. To begin, click the Upload Documents button at the top of the domain dashboard. We're using the sample IMDB movie data. When you're using your own data, the console can automatically convert it into the Cloud Search document format. Or you can pre-format your data using either JSON or XML. The Review Documents step shows the number of documents to be uploaded and the document fields that were detected. When you upload documents, they are automatically indexed in near real time, so you can start searching right away. The domain dashboard shows how many documents have been indexed and are ready to be searched. It also shows the search and document endpoints, which you will use to submit your query requests and document upload requests. Now we are ready to submit queries to our search domain. To launch the search tester, click the domain's Run a Test Search link. Search Tester enables you to submit simple queries against all text fields or specific text or literal fields. By default, multiple terms are anded together. Let's search the IMDB Movies data for Star Wars. When you submit a query, the Search Tester displays all of the returnable data for each hit, in this case, each movie. Because the Genre field is configured as a facet, the Search Tester automatically enables us to drill down into the results by genre. For example, if we narrow the results to comedy, we see a single result, fanboys. To submit search requests and document upload requests to your domain for real usage, use the AWS SDK or the AWS command line interface. 
As we saw in this demo, you can use the console to get started and experiment with your data before building your application. To find out details about how to use the AWS SDK and the AWS CLI to submit search requests to your domain, receive search results, and update documents, refer to the Cloud Search Developer Guide. In less than an hour, we have a fully operational search infrastructure set up, configured, and ready to receive index updates and query requests. Now that we are done experimenting with our IMDB Movies domain, we will delete it to avoid racking up additional charges. To delete a domain, go to the Domain Dashboard and click Delete This Domain. When prompted, confirm that you really want to delete the domain and click OK. Try our 30-day free trial and quickly experiment with a fully functional Cloud Search domain. You can start your trial by creating a new domain from the AWS console. For more information about setting up your own search domains, see the Amazon Cloud Search Developer Guide. For pricing information, see the Amazon Cloud Search Overview on aws.amazon.com. If you have questions about Amazon Cloud Search or want to hear what the other Cloud Search developers are talking about, visit the Cloud Search Forum.